Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Zen Within Me. Okay, today's reading is going to be a love reading for Capricorn Sun Moon Rising and this is going to help you find out who is your Valentine going to be for 2022. So without further ado, my darlings, let's get into it. Okay, so we're going to be using my Initials, Traits and Features Oracle deck. This is available for pre-order because I already sold out of the first batch. Um, the information is at my website, zenwithinme.com, or my Etsy shop, Zen Within Me, and those links are down below in the description box. Just to tell you real quick, it's $35, and you get a free gift when you pre-order. When you don't pre-order, then it's no free gift, and they're $40. Okay, so let's see. What are the initials or letters or any kind of clues that will connect you to who your Valentine will be for 2022? I, I have a little wrist injury, so I got to just shuffle slowly. Okay. All right, let's see. What are the initials or letters that connect you to who your Valentine will be for 2022? Capricorn Sun Moon Rising. Okay. Ooh, last shuffle. Thank you. Okay, so for some of you, I'm going to tell you this right away, it's going to be your ex. Okay, for some of you, it's going to be your ex. Or there may be an Xavier or something along those lines. Okay, so, ooh, pie is spelled out here. So somebody likes pie. This could be pizza pie, like apple pie, blueberry pie, um, cream pie, you know. They may call you their cutie pie because I have the letter T here as well. Okay. Um, and I'm seeing here JW is also here. Uh, this I'm getting with JW. I mean, this could be somebody's initials or name, but jaw. Something about somebody's jaw is standing out. So they may like, like, I don't even know. I can't, I, I could show you, but I don't have my makeup on, so I don't want to put my face on screen. <laughs> I normally don't care. I'm just, it's the end of the night. I'm tired. Uh, but like somebody kind of like shifts their jaw, like pushes it to the side, you know, like open to the right kind of like jaw, like they mess with their jaw. Or um, have you ever seen that muscle like in the back of someone's jaw, like going towards the ear, but not that far back? Like you'll see the muscle kind of flex when they get mad or like they just do something. They crack their jaw, just whatever with someone's jaw is standing out. They may even have like a really nice jawline, you know, but jaw is coming through. And then um, we also have Jew spelled out. So somebody might be Jewish. So this person here might be Jewish. Okay. Pet is spelled out as well. See, that's what I love about these cards. That's why I created them. You can move the letters around and just see what your guides and guardians and angels tell you. So somebody may have a pet. Okay. Um, I'm also seeing here jet. So somebody may be a pilot or have their own jet. Okay. I'm also seeing here like um, petty, but I'm seeing it as like petite. Petite is coming through. So somebody may also be petite here. Okay, so we have the letters J, W, P, E, T, I, and X. Also, Tix, T, I, X is spelled out. So somebody may surprise you with tickets to something um, like a concert or some kind of show or something like that. Um, Let's see. I'm also seeing W I X. So Wix. Somebody may have a website with Wix. Okay. Or simply their initials or any other way that these letters connect with them. This could be, um, I'm getting here like January. Somebody may have been born in January. Their name might be January. 
Um, however it resonates. Okay. Uh, with this deck, you're connecting with you guys, guardians, ancestors, and angels. I just want to point it out. You're not opening any portals like a Ouija board, but you are still getting the convenience of having your guides communicate with you and literally spell out what they're trying to say to you. So it kind of makes it much easier instead of trying to figure out numbers and symbols and lyrics and pictures and stuff like that. Because I know we've all been to a place where we're like, just spit it out, spell it out. Well, there you go. Buy my cards and they'll spit it out and spell it out for you. They'll even help you find lost items. It has happened. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Now this is the other portion of the deck. I split it in two. So this is the traits and features, which we're going to see what are the traits and features of your person. So depending on what kind of question you're asking, uh, the traits and features will describe a person based on this. And then the letters can connect you with their actual name, initials, or anything like that. Um, and other clues and details of who you're dealing with. So traits and features of Capricorn's Valentine for 2022, please. Thank you. Okay, so let's see. What do we have here? Okay, so we have something about their cologne, perfume, or scent that's going to absolutely drive you wild. This person may be tall. Funny. Ooh, trustworthy. That's a good one. Okay, something about their ears. So uh, if this is your first time watching, I'll explain again. So the ears can be physical, like big, small, um, maybe type of earrings on the ears. Uh, they may like blow in your ears or bite on your ears. You know, something about their ears. They may tug on their ears, or they may just be a very good listener or have very good hearing, okay? So, so somehow their ears um, are relevant here and distinct. Okay, same thing with voice. This could be, you know, this person is very outspoken. There's a lot of verbal communication between you guys. So not so much texting, but more actual phone calls where you talk to each other. Um, they voice their opinion. They may sing, have a sexy voice, have an accent, anything along those lines. So however their voice may stand out to you. And then we have mouth. So their mouth, um, you could love the lips, the way they kiss, um, the way they, they talk, pronounce their words. Um, maybe it's like an LL cool J, cool J thing where they lick their lips, you know, stuff like that. But there's something distinct about their mouth. They may also just be a wise guy and have a big mouth. Okay. So this, this can be many different ways here. Okay. So I, and I, when I created this deck, um, cause I am the original creator. There were no cards out like this when I invented them, which is why I invented them. They are copyrighted, but now you'll see that there's other decks out there and I am flattered that I've helped to inspire others to mimic my deck, but this is the original deck. So if you're interested in the original deck, there you go. All right. So let's see, what other messages do we have for you? Capricorn. Okay. Let's see if we can get other messages for Capricorn here. Okay. What other messages do we have for Capricorn? Who's going to be their Valentine 2022? Okay, we've got some cards here. Thank you. Let's see. We have, okay, the first house. So the number one is relevant here. What people see and the impression you give. So this person, um, first impressions, and they're very concerned um, about how people view them. So this person might be a little self-conscious. They might be a little um, shy to approach you. Um, they want to make a good first impression. Okay. Okay. Then we have the fourth house. So the number four may be relevant here. And this is your home and the roots of your being. So this person is very home oriented, very family oriented, very firm in, in their like beliefs, beliefs. That's what I'm getting the roots of their being. 
And then for the zodiac sign, we have Pisces coming through. Okay, so your Valentine Capricorn might be a Pisces, or this could be the energy of Pisces that they have. This energy is wistful, endlessly loving, compassionate, and forgiving. It confuses and softens resolve. Okay, all right, so those are your messages. That's who your Valentine for 2022 is going to be, Capricorn. Thank you so much for uh, liking, sharing, watching, and subscribing. Just click the bell and select all when you subscribe so you'll be notified every time I post new content. Um, if you're interested in purchasing uh, a private reading or spell work or um, any of my products, which I have here, my timing stones, my oracle cards, and products infused with spell work, you can go to zenwithinme.com or my Etsy shop, Zen Within Me. Those links are down below in the description box. And if you are interested in any real estate, you can go to my other YouTube channel, Zen Within Me Homes. Peace and love, guys. Stay safe, and I will see you in the next reading.